There is a time before birth. Having been involved in pregnancy and childbirth since the early 1970s and working with hundreds of mothers and fathers who developed the birthing better skills, we had pregnancy before we gave birth. So the question was, what do you do in pregnancy? Well, first of all, it's so changeable. And curiously, in the 1990s, dads finally got together in their minds and said, look, we can help prepare her body from 24 weeks, learn the birth and birth coaching skills from then until we have birth, use the skills, great, we feel great. But 24 weeks is six months into pregnancy and we've been left behind for the past six months. The changes are so rapid and slow and she's so impacted, our life's impacted. And I, as a human being, as a man, as a father, as a partner, I want to keep up. I want to know how to help. So fathers developed the Pregnancy Academy skills for the five phases of pregnancy from conception to 12 weeks, 12 weeks to 24, 24 to 36, 36 to birth and the birth because you're still pregnant until your baby's out of your body. So they developed 10 skills, for instance, like being patient. So if a couple gets pregnant, and a wanted pregnancy, for example, and a few weeks into the pregnancy, the woman is vomiting, doesn't want to have sex, doesn't want to have touch, becomes very irritable. That guy is affected by it. So if he or she knows to be patient, be patient with yourself, but be patient with the woman. She's not happy either. And be patient with your baby that you can't feel or see for the next almost six months. But from 12 to 24 weeks, when she starts to feel better, you still have to be patient with the baby because you can't feel the baby. She can't either. And from 24 weeks to 36 weeks, you may not need to use a lot of patience. From 36 weeks to birth, that may come up again because she's now impatient that the birth isn't happening. And depending on what happens at the birth, you may need to use patience again, always to yourself, to her, to your baby. So that's just one of the 10 skills that fathers developed for the Pregnancy Academy. Pregnancy Academy is before the birth. So birthing better families in the 70s, because the cesarean rate was 5%, because it was major abdominal surgery to save a woman's life, we all labored. That didn't mean we had good births. It didn't mean we didn't have tragedies. We all labored. Everything was normal, natural, and physiological, and it was all accepted. Those three words had not come to mean yet that it's safe, it's easy, women know how to do it, and just leave us alone. The natural birth movement took three words that traditional cultures around the world and modern medicine have a different viewpoint about. Modern medicine, traditional healthcare around the world in different cultures are more aligned. They interpret normal, natural, and physiological to mean anything that might happen could happen. And therefore you become observant and you do things to try to prevent known or unknown risks from becoming problems, and you try to prevent problems from becoming tragedies. But when you interpret those three words to mean, oh, easy, no brainer, then the fact is that you don't do a lot in pregnancy. You just let pregnancy happen and you just let birth happen and you hope for the best. And because there are very few tragedies, you will get the best. But that doesn't mean that there weren't problems and it doesn't mean that there weren't risks. And so when we take an attitude that it's all just normal and natural and we don't have to have any skills or do anything, that's, I don't know, <laughs> it was an approach that birthing better families took. We took the approach that anything that might happen could happen. And therefore, with known or unknown risks, we were going to do everything we could to prevent problems from coming or try to resolve the problems if they occurred in order to prevent tragedies. But that's the live mother and live baby in the global goal number one. But the global goal number two was suffering. And when we became skilled in pregnancy, we couldn't practice the skills. We didn't know if they'd work, but boy, we used them because if we didn't have anything else, we didn't have anything else. So pregnancy is the time to become skilled. Using the Pregnancy Academy through the five phases of pregnancy is really helpful. It's helpful to know how to be patient when you feel impatient to both yourself and the mother and the baby. It's good to know how to have second set of eyes or a second set of arms as a development from 36 weeks through the birth so that you can care for this baby. It's a wonderful idea to be able to see what needs to be done and do it. So the 10 skills in pregnancy are life 
habits that help us have a continuity of self so that we can develop skills in pregnancy and then develop skills to prepare for birth and develop skills to how to work through birth and then to work through the activity of birthing our baby because nobody can do it for us. We have to do it. 100% of pregnant women are going to give birth. 100% of pregnant women are doing the activity of giving birth. And every human activity, every human activity is best done with skills. And when we go back to the physiological things like birth and pregnancy, like being randy, having sex, or being hungry and knowing how to cook or knowing what's safe to eat, we put skills onto those two things. And yet we still have a philosophy around childbirth that it's a no brainer because we've always birthed and therefore women know how to birth. No, women don't know how to birth, but birth will happen to them one way or another. And we get through birth and then we tell our birth story. But what we're saying to you is what's important now is to grow a self-learning skilled birthing population. And ICPA, International Chiropractic Pediatric Association, is a perfect organization to do that because you work with pregnant women. So each member can hand out a skills-based method that says, these are the different skills-based methods. You may know other ones, use whatever way you want. It's just a handout of suggestions. And Pathways Family Magazine is going to have a childbirth hub where you can buy some of the skills-based methods and start working through them. Now, when I gave birth in 1970, and so many hundreds and millions of us attended Lamas classes. It was late in pregnancy. And what we learned is birthing better families is you want to start preparing your body around 24 weeks. You know you're more than halfway through pregnancy. Your baby has grown. Your mind is still very coherent. And the birth hormones are beginning to be active. You want to start to learn the skills to work and manage through birth around 32 weeks, as well as doing the internal work for five minutes a day for eight weeks. You want to take seriously preparing preparing your body because I'm a body worker. And in the early 70s, when I started to develop these skills with hundreds of mothers and fathers, I was working with women my age. We all were giving birth vaginally and so many of us had damage to our body. You don't know how many women pee when they cough or run and we don't do things because we have an incontinence or prolapse, or we don't feel any sensations when we have sex or it's painful. It takes a lot to recover from having a big object come through us. And that is why pregnancy is the time before birth and we need to take it incredibly seriously and start to grow a self-learning skilled birthing population. Because pregnancy is the time before birth. Birth is when we are doing the activity. And after the birth is when we tell the birth story that lives with us forever. We can change our memory by doing things in the present that change the future and that change the future once it becomes the past. Let's all grow a self-learning skilled birthing population for absolutely every birth and start listening to different birth stories and start learning how to use pregnancy as a time before birth to become skilled to do that phenomenal activity.